Welcome to session four. Uh, today, we're going to be investigating how to actually start sharing your OERs. I noticed in the WhatsApp um, that many people are putting their minds now to do uh, what would be a good OER. Um, people were saying how many OERs uh, and so on. So we will look at uh, those issues uh, in the session, but also uh, a very quick introduction to where you can put these uh, bits and pieces. All right. Um, the There's also a revision test this afternoon. So at the moment, we've got 23 of you in. Uh, can you start thinking about uh, making sure you've got two screens, either two windows on your laptops, or th to be able to flick between uh, two your browser uh, on your phone. Uh, you need to be able to have a look at the Zoom uh, recording because that's where the question will be and then you need to have a window where you can answer and choose a color remember so we're just going to try it again there was a big um, um a, a number of people who came forward and said oh please can we try it again and they were banned with issues on tuesday so yeah we'll give it a go um in fact we'll start that way so um i see three of you already in so you'll see on your screen at the moment the game pin five six eight five three two five uh can you navigate to kahoots.it in your browser and then put the put the code in the questions will come from tutorials one two and three there are only eight questions though so we won't drag it out but if you can um put in Put in the pin and be ready to play. All right. Um, while you're doing that, all right. So a reminder on the um, on the right hand side of the screen. I'm just watching people come in at the moment. So as you arrive, can you log into the the quiz? But um, I also want to just alert you to what's happening on the uh, on the one side. So here's where all our resources are. So if you ever get lost and oh, it's, it's going a bit squiff. Let me, there we go. All right. If you ever get lost, then can you go to this site? I'm going to put it in the WhatsApp and in the chat. Chat, chat, chat. Here's the chat. Should everyone control V? On the site, you'll see there is the all the videos that we are doing. So all our sessions, sessions one, two, and three, your group two. So here's your sessions coming up. You can always go and have another look and a revision if you're getting confused. All right. And then here are the links to the four tutorials: one, two, three, and four. So can you, um, if you ever say, oh, I want to go back and I can't find it in the WhatsApp, then you can always come here. So let me also put that link in the WhatsApp for group two. And um, here is our homepage uh, for all the resources, module to be. Okay, so I've put it in the WhatsApp as well. So it's in the chat. It is in the, um, and in, in the chat and in the WhatsApp. All right, we get rid of that. Uh, let's have a look. How many people? Which of the following is not a benefit? of OER. So this comes from the first tutorial. Uh, it gave us all these benefits. One of them is not a benefit. Um, it's not true, in fact. Can you choose one of the colors, please? Okay, that was a bit of an easy one, eh? All right, well done. Uh, I don't have to worry. And in terms of the little competition, knee is ahead, 780, 
Ngoni, very close behind, 763. And Bebe is also very close. All right. What about number two? Which of the following are not benefits of open education? Okay, not OERs, open education. All right. Can you have a look at those four options? One of them is not a benefit. All right, I see Standwa and Nayasha have said in the WhatsApp they're struggling. The network's not great. All right, so uh, watch the screen then if you can. All right. Uh, yeah, um, the open education um, means that you shouldn't necessarily want to even be on a campus. All right, I mean, you could if there were a campus offered, but generally it's not about being physically tied anywhere. And it doesn't mean universities all have to now open up their doors and let people just wander in. All right, so yes, well done to those five. Ni is still ahead. Ngoni is still number second. Divan has moved up into third. And Tandiwe is in fourth. True or false? The CC license on the screen at the moment is the same as full copyright by NCSA. Is this true or is this false? All right. Okay. It is false. Okay. Um, uh, there are no Creative Commons licenses which are the same as full copyright. Full copyright means that you may not do anything with that resource other than look at it without asking for permission. All right. So you have to either from the author or from the publisher. The, the one we chose, though, um, it means that you, you don't have to ask for permission. You can make copies. You can share it with your friends and your students and your colleagues. All right. However, you may not make uh, any profit from it. And should you adapt it, because you can, you can adapt it, then you must share it with the same license. But it's nowhere near as restrictive as full copyright. All right. So even though it's a very restrictive license compared to the others, it's still... A, a good example of an open resource. All right, so keep that in mind, then don't fall into that trap. Uh, the CC licenses are all open. All right. Oh, there's a bit of a, um, a mix up, uh, a change in the ladder. All right, Loveness now into second and Bebe into third. Google Advanced Search. When it says, free to use, share, or modify, even commercially. This is equivalent to, because remember, Google Advanced Search doesn't use the Creative Commons wording. It has its own wording. But it is the same as what? One of those licenses. Free to use, share, or modify, even commercially, is the same as which Creative Commons license? Okay, oh, it was a wobbly. Some of you went a bit uh, awry there. Um, yeah, if, you, if it's free to use, share, or modify, so it can't be ND. So if there's an ND in there, it doesn't make sense. Even commercially means there can't be an NC in it either. All right, so the only one left, really, was CC BY. CC0 is like the same as public domain. Do you remember that? Okay, so it's not the same as public domain, but this one. So is the closest. Ah, look at that. Knee is pulling away. Got a thousand points in the bag. All right, next one. YouTube CC filter identifies videos with the following licenses. So when we're on YouTube and we use the CC filter, what is the licenses that are offered to us? Mm. 
Mm. All right. Now, the CC license, um, as its name suggests, Creative Commons will have to give us a CC license. So it can only be red or yellow. All right. However, you might, if you read your tutorial properly, it says there that C, uh, uh, YouTube only really offers a generic Creative Commons license. It doesn't offer you all the six. It only offers you one. So um, it's a general CC license. It isn't a specific one. All right. So one person got that right. It was Bebe who got it right. All right. So well done, Bebe. Um, which of the following five R's allows adaptation? So last yesterday, you were going through your five R's when you went through tutorial number three. And we want to know there are five of them, but only certain of them allow adaptations. So which ones of the five R's can you fiddle with the resource? Remember, the five R's are uh, what can you do with an OER? So you can use all five R's on an OER, but which one allows you to change it? All right, and three of you got remix. Yeah, revise and remix are the only two that allow for adaptation. All right, so there was no revise. Um, so remix was the only uh, one on offer. <coughs> okay, remember, reuse, revise, remix, redistribute and retain on the five R's. Oh, Ngoni shoots up the ranks. Okay, two to go. When creating an OER, which issue is not a consideration? So this was yesterday's work. Can you remember? He said, when you're creating OERs, there are actually three things you really, really have to remember, all right? One of those is not an issue. The other three are. Okay, so three of you are on the right track. All this rubbish about logos and branding. No rubbish. OERs, you can just stick your name on it if you want. And then the license, you can even write the license. You didn't even need to brand it. So the three of you went for green, correct. All right, the other three are correct. Okay, for example, when you're creating your OER tonight, okay, will it be in a format that encourages adaptation? All right, so have you made it like a PDF, which can't be changed? Because that's not much use, all right? Um, is it fully open? Are you allowed the license? Are you allowing people to do adaptations? All right. Um, is it good quality? Those three things are very important when you're considering releasing your resource as an open, uh, openly licensed resource. Okay, so well done to those three. Seems to be the usual suspects. And I think we got one to go. Yes, one to go, last one. What does free cultural work mean? So when you are in Creative Commons and creating your license, which tutorial three showed you how to do it, what does that funny green sticker at the bottom mean? This is a free cultural license or work. What does that mean? Nice. All right. Good. Uh, the vast majority of you who are playing got that right. Uh, it just simply means, uh, yes, this, uh, this allows other people to do uh, almost anything that they would like with your resource. So it's very... Um, it has very few restrictions. All right, so nice. Yes, that is correct. So let's just have a look. See this guy down the bottom here? So if you go for like CC BY, then um, there's a, it gives you this little sticker, free cultural license. And all it's doing is patting you on the back and saying, yeah, this one is really, really open, really open. Okay, so that's cool. And let's see who won. I can think we can guess. In third place, Bebe. In second place, me. And in first place, Ngoni. Yay! Well done. Runners up, Loveness and Tandiwe. Okay, cool. All right. So well done to those people who played. I hope that was a good little revision so you can um, see uh, from the three tutorials that you've done what was 
what was um well, let me kill it it's making noises uh what were the important points oh leave cool all right which brings me to the probably the most important thing in yesterday's tutorial. I just would like to just go over it again before we bring in new work. Um, what happened to it? Yes, here it is. All right, so um, uh, the last part of tutorial three said, how do you get that little license plate onto your, onto your PowerPoint or onto your MS Word document? Or um, how can you even get, get it on your video, et cetera? All right, so let's have a quick look how you do that. If you go to Creative Commons proper, let me just go to, yeah, here we go. So when you arrive at creativecommons.org, then this is the website, all right? And um, um, and now you want to now you want to share your work. See this button here? Share your work. You come in here. It explains what you should be doing. You should choose the features, provide the information, and then get the license. And it really is that simple. But it does have these steps. All right. And the first one is it'll ask you three questions and then it can work out which license you should use. All right. So the first question is, are you going to allow people to adapt it? Are you going to make, allow them to make changes? And wow. I've been saying uh, in, other, in other sessions that uh, we strongly recommend that you allow people to adapt your resource. I am a developer and my biggest bugbear is when I find a beautiful resource, but then it's so restrictive. There's not a lot I can do with it. So if I want to translate it into French for my West Africans, can't do it. If I want to swap out pictures um, of Chinese people with African people, can't do it. Um, so you really want to give them a license which allows adaptation. So you can go yes, or you can say no. And as you do it, you'll see the license changes on this side here. So CC by ND. So if you go for no, then it will change the license. Or you can say, um, yes, they can change it, but then they must use the same license as I've got. And then you'll see now you've got CC by SA. All right, CC by SA. So um, I'm just going to say, yes, I don't care. Uh, they don't have to use the same license. I don't really care. All right, but are, am, I, am I also going to allow people to use it for commercial purposes? So, for example, if someone's writing a textbook, can they put it in the textbook? Because let's face it, all textbooks are fully copyrighted and um, they're going to be sold. All right. Or can they use it? Can they put all their resources on a disk and then hand the disks out and then charge people to, to use the thing? So I, can, I might say no. All right. And then it is CC by non-commercial, attribution non-commercial. There we go. So, um, but hey, I want my sticker. So I'm going to go for, for that. All right. Then the, what, I, what I have got is the by. I've got the little man. So I need to provide the attribution information. Otherwise, how would they know how to attribute it to me? All right. So then you've got this little box here. Okay. It's, it's distorted a bit on the screen. I hope you can see it. But here I'd have to put in my, um, I'd have to load in, what is the name of the resource that I am going to um, put in? Um, attribute the work to a name. Is it my name or is it someone else? Oh, I can never remember how to spell it. All right. Doesn't look right. Grace, oh, I've forgotten. Are you here in the list? Let me just have a look if Grace is here and pinch her name. I don't see her. All right. So you can put either your name or uh, the name of the author. Is there a place where um, it's going to be on the internet? So um, you might want to go mopsy, uh, dot online. Uh, it's https mopsy online 
You're going to find out about that in tutorial form. Um, or maybe it's your own website, um, www.ajmore.co.za. You can put in whatever way, whoops, it's not wrong. You can, uh, here you can put in the URL, the web address of where it's going to live. All right. Uh, if it hasn't got a web address and you don't know what it is, leave it blank. If we were adapting something that already exists and we know where it is on the internet, then we can put the source work. So if we've done a remix or we've done, a, very definitely if we've done a revise, then we can put in the, the uh, web address here. We can either paste it in or whatever. If you are at an organization which has a whole load of um, terms of use and copyright uh, information, etc., then you can put in more permissions URL. You can just go to the website and read up on all the various restrictions that come with our work. And then under format, you can say, um, what is it? Is it audio, a video, an image, whatever? So you can say, right, that's a video. And then it says, how are you going to use the license? Is it part of a website, HTML? or a, a rich text editor, RDF, all right? So, um, or is it um, XMP? Never use that. Or is it offline? Maybe it's a paper-based thing. It's never going to exist as a, um, a digital resource. However, I'll be honest, I always, nearly always use that one. Okay. So now uh, you'll see that on the, on the right here is now the license. Okay, Forms of Water by Grace is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution 4. Let me just kill this, sorry. Um, the, um, and it says, do you want to have the big icon or do you want the little icon? All right, so the idea then is, you can choose which one you want. I always like the big one. <laughs> and um, the, once you've done that, now you've got some options. So if I've got my PowerPoint open, let me just do this quickly. I'll get PowerPoint open for you. And then you can see. No, go away. Sorry, I've got people harassing me. Um, Um, sorry, I'm, I'm a male. I don't multitask very well. Okay, so now I've got my PowerPoint. So I can open up my PowerPoint and I'm making my PowerPoint. It's about trees and I've got pictures and so on. All right. Now I want to get, uh, I want um, to get this. I want to get this little license on here. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. So um, I normally just grab it like that, go copy, and then come on here and go, oops, <laughs> control V, uh, paste. Well, it took the picture, but it didn't take the writing this time. So let me do that again. So you just grab it, control C, or, or right click and copy, and then come onto your PowerPoint and control V. And there it is. Now you can make it bigger and you can sort it out and you can put it wherever. All right, so um, I'm thinking that when you're doing your MS Word or your PowerPoint, then you can actually generate it here on Creative Commons and then you can just stick it in. And notice the little, uh, the hyperlink still works. So if I come in here and I want to actually go onto the hyperlink, I can click and it takes me to the license on the, on the website. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So um, that's what the tutorial number three was trying to show you. And that's one of the criteria that we're going to be looking at in terms of your, your submission uh, uh, on Friday. All right. So we want to see, have you got the little, the little, CC license plate on your resource. So let's have a very quick look at the at the um, 
Oh, I've lost it. So let me just go back in again. Um, go back to that page that I was talking about. Well, it's not this one, it's this one. Let's make it a bit bigger now. There's not so much on the screen. All right. So um, if we're going to look at the little. Here it is. All right. Here's our agenda and our schedule that I shared on, was it Friday last week? And this is your assignment. So let's have a look at your assignment. The final assignment is to apply the information studied in the four tutorials. So you're going to have to still do tutorial four tonight, but now you're starting to think about what is the resource. To either adapt existing OER for the Zimbabwean context or create new resources aligned to the MOPSI curriculum statements. Remember that was in number two. Tutorial number two was how to do that. All OER must be openly licensed and include the Creative Commons license plate, which is in tutorial three. All right. These resources need to be uploaded into the EduConnect database, which is in tutorial number four. All right. And have the appropriate metadata captured. Metadata just simply means the descriptor. You've got to describe your resource according to uh, what EduConnect asks for. All right, so how are we going to mark your resource? Okay, first of all, you need to create two. All right, we want evidence that there are two OERs that you have either adapted for the Zimbabwe context or that you have created from scratch. All right, so we're looking for two. And obviously, I've got the word quality teaching learning resources here. So I don't want a piece of rubbish. I want it to look nice. I want it to look professional. I want there's no spelling mistakes. There's no funny grammar. There's no distorted pictures. It looks professional. All right. So there's uh, two marks for that. Okay. Clearly stated on each resource how it is aligned with the MOPSI curriculum. All right. So I want you to say this resource links to specific objective number blah, 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 or whatever it says in the curriculum document we want to know if a teacher was to take your oer where is it useful teaching and learning what all right so we want you to align it with the zimbabwe curriculum number three it has a creative commons license uh, using the cc license generator all right, so we want to see that you've copied and pasted from the license generator the little, uh, the little icon and the, the wording and the little hyperlink. All right, so there's some marks for that. And then that you have uploaded it into EduConnect. All right, and uh, that's tutorial four, but I'll show you very quickly. If you go to Mopsy, Dot online. This is the National Ministry database of OERs. All right. And um, there are, there's a section on teaching and learning resources. So we want your OERs to appear in the database. All right. You will need to sign up. So there was, I think it was tutorial number one. Uh, it asked you to create an account. But if you haven't done it, can you do it? It's very easy. You just go in here. You just put in your first name, your last name, your email address. And sorry, let's go here. You, yeah, that's all you need is an email address and a password. All right. Please remember what it is so you can get back in. All right. Um, Sorry, create an account, first name, last name, email address, and a password. Okay, so that's what they want for the account. So do that, please. And um, and then, um, then you can come in, and I'm just going to log in. All right, and then you'll know you're in the right place. Let me make this a little smaller so you can see. Uh, you know you're in the right place when your name appears in the right-hand corner. Okay, then when you're ready, you can go to submit a resource. 
resource title, what's the name of the resource? Who is the author? Is there a publisher? So you can either say the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education, you can put Mopsy there if you want, or you can put your school name there or something, all right? Which subject, select the level that you have prepared the material for. And then which subject is it? So if I go for like grade two, for example, I get less subjects. Okay, I only get the subjects related to grade two. All right, uh, that's in science. Um, uh, what is the resource topic? So where does it fit into the curriculum? Is it heat and power or what is it? Okay, and then you can put a little description. Don't go too crazy. Just what is it and what is it for? Okay, then they want to know that it is a teaching and learning resource. You must tell us what the license is that you chose for your for your resource. Here's the, here are the six plus the CC zero. You can tell us what you've chosen. Remember, I keep saying, go for one of these ones, the least restrictive, but that's not my call. It's up to you. It's an open license. You can choose which one you want, all right? And then uh, what is it? Is it a hyperlink? Is it a document or whatever? If you choose a document, it's going to ask you to upload it. All right. So now you need to um, drag your file into here. Um, if it is a hyperlink, say you've got it on YouTube, for example, and they want to give them the YouTube URL, then you would just paste it in here. So you would go right click, in fact, go to share. Here's the URL. Go copy, go back to Mopsy, paste it in here. Okay. Just mute her. There we go. All right. And um, there you go. Um, but if you think that was a bit fast, there is uh, in. Um, tutorial four, we go through that. Let me just go back. So in tutorial four, what do we look at? We look at um, how to upload to the uh, Zimbabwe EduConnect portal. And there's some little, um, it explains how to do it. So I did it very fast. If you want to go through it more carefully, you can have a look. First, just do a simple, all right. And um, then we've also got one on publishing on OER Commons. So you might say, oh, well, EduConnect all very well, and I would love to share with my Zimbabwean colleagues, but I want to share this with the world, all right? I think this is brilliant. I think this needs big exposure, all right? Then we would put it on OER Commons. You remember I did show you very briefly OER Commons, but it explains how you how you um, uh, upload it there as well, if you want. All right. So you've got some options. Are you going to go for national, EduConnect, or are you going to go for global, OER, Commons? All right. So um, that's part of the tutorial. We do have a little section on evaluating OERs. How would you know your OER is any good? Okay. Here's some criteria that we think you should be aware of. And then there's a little section on what happens if you want to know more than OERs. What else is there? Okay, so we look at very briefly open courseware and MOOCs. I don't know if you've heard of MOOCs. So we describe MOOCs as well. All right. Okay, cool. So that's your homework for tonight. So over to you guys. Any queries, questions, issues? We've been going for almost 40 minutes. Uh, it's your turn now. Tell me uh, what, how things are going. Um, any questions? You can either put your hand up, go to the participants list, and then um, uh, click on your name and your, you can put your hand up, or you can just Turn your mic on. There's only how many of us today? 30, 30 odd today. Divani.
Devani, you're very faint. Can you type it in the chat and then I'll respond to what you've what you've got there? All right. Sorry, you weren't very clear. Um, no, not well. Yeah, yeah, I can hear bits, bits and pieces. Okay, let me type it. Type it in the chat and then I'll address it uh, to everybody. Okay. Uh, who else we've got who would like to contribute? Is it going well? Um, are you feeling overwhelmed or is it, or is it in control? Uh, anyone can write in the chat. I see Ngoni has uh, raised her hand. Oh, no, not her hand, his head. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Hi, Andrew. Hey. The, the, yeah. The, yeah. The yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the reigning champion of the Kahoot Challenge, the last one yeah. of the session. So I'm excited. Uh, I had some glitches here and there. And I lost. I've lost the network for about five minutes, but I, I managed to come back and win the challenge. So the sky's the limit. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. I, I want to thank you, Andrew, for all the tutorials. I go over them after the uh, online meeting. And uh, I've benefited a lot, and I'm ready to create my OER. I think by tomorrow, I'll be ready with the state of art up to standards OERs. Thank you. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. All right. Um, nice. Uh, any other queries, comments? You can either turn your your mic on, or you can type if you if you're shy, you can type it in the chat. I see Devani has now typed. He says, I was fascinated with the Kahoot IT application. Are there any other apps we could use to give quizzes and tests on off, uh, tests offline? All right. Um, I think most of them allow you to get, um, I, I, I need to show you the, the one I'm thinking of. So Kahoot, I think you can take a, like a printout. It's, it's not interactive. It's just like a test sheet. But another one that um, some of my, my higher education people prefer is this one. This one is called quizzes.com. Um, it works in a similar format, but it isn't as juvenile. It's a bit smarter. And um, the uh, it does the same if you want. You can go question by question, or you can just give them a race for the whole test. So there are still marks for being quick but you have to complete all eight questions or 10 questions or whatever. So um, that's an alternative if you want a, bit, a, a slightly more serious look. All right, there's a free version and then there's the, obviously the paid full version, same as Kahoot's. All right, so have a look at that one. I'll put it in the, um, let me just put it in the WhatsApp. Uh, make sure I'm in the right group, group two. All right, so that's quizzes. So you can have a look at that one. And then another one I like is called Socrative. Socrative. Let me just make sure I've got it right. I'm oh, sorry, Socrative.com. Yeah, I've never tried this for real. I've always just liked it, but I've never actually tried it for real. So um, this one gives very nice statistics. Um, so that's another one you can look at. And then uh, there's Kahoot, which we'll, I think you should have a look at anyway. It's very easy to use. I'll just stick the link. Because obviously for the um, for editing, for creating the... Uh, sorry. There we go. For uh, creating the... Uh -huh. 
says you need to go to .com, not to IT. Okay. And one last one that I've enjoyed is, oh, hang on. Oh, it's, it's called Plickers. This one's a bit weird. Plickers. Yeah. Uh, I'm already, it recognizes me. It's oh, taking me. Uh, how do I go home? Wait, let me just go to plickers.com. Yeah, have a look at this one. This one is this one works, but you have to have your class around you, um, and then the uh, you give them these these sheets, um, and then they, they, it's like multiple choice, but they hold. Say, for example, they think A is the answer, then they have to hold their sheet up in a certain way. It rotates, so there's A, B, C, and D is all according to which way you hold the sheet, and then. Um, you, with your phone, you scan the class, and then it gives you the immediate overall results and who's correct and who's not. So it's, it's like AR, augmented reality. Very cool. Very clever. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm never with a class. I'm always, like, online. So I've never used it in, in uh, for real. But it's interesting. All right, so... Um, uh, Devani, I hope that was useful. Let's have a look what other questions we've got um, today. Uh, Chinyepi, my network was bad today and couldn't connect to the Kahoot. We've, we've had that twice now, so maybe you need to be a little bit careful of Kahoot when the, uh, the network's not so great. Uh, but thank you. Uh, creating OERs with simple, even licensing. Cool. Gladys says she joined Kahoot's lately due to network problems. Yep. Uh, Christina, thank you for the lesson, Andrew. Uh, I am a bit challenged, and I'm sure to download more learning materials on Creative Commons with the detailed steps. Cool. Take your time. Work through it. Um, I'm hoping they, they give you uh, plenty um, to think about. And then Rumbid, Rumbidzai says, I've benefited a lot. Thank you. All right. So thank you very much, guys. I think that's good. Um, that's in the chat. And then I've put all those links that you can experiment with if you're really interested in uh, other apps. Um, you can look in the WhatsApp group. All right, 46 minutes. I think that's more than enough of me, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure you're bored to death. So I will see you tomorrow um, for the finale. I'm hoping some of you will have OERs that we can share the screen with and you can show us your OER and we can uh, all weigh in and give you kudos um but the proof is oh one word of warning so for those of you who want to upload your resources tonight um there is uh you will get a little message it says waiting for approval okay so um when you upload to educonnect uh, they don't automatically show in the database there is a mopsy representative who does the quality assuring they're checking to see that they're of good quality so um can you then in the whatsapp group just show me that you have got to that stage and that you have submitted and are waiting for approval and then i can chase up the mopsy administrator um, so that i can see them all right so that is the a little word of warning when you see the waiting for approval that's cool it's as far as you can take it for now all right so so keep that in mind. All right. Good. I think that's enough. I'm going to formally have one last check of the chat. Well, there's a few more things. Uh, Temba is elated. Excellent. Mufunda says it was far uh, much better for uh, me because the network today, cool. Sydney says he came in late, but he'll go through the materials. I advise anyone who was late today or had network issues, you can either watch the recording, which I'll put up later uh, this evening, or you can just work through the tutorials. The tutorials are pretty straightforward, all right? And then from Samsung RV510, Thank you. I think a hands-on lesson was necessary for us BBCs born before computers. 
I think you need to be careful of that. My father is 93. In fact, he'll be 93 on the 2nd of May. 93. And I go to him for computer advice. So he was born before slide rules. Okay, so uh, be careful. Don't think just because you're old that you're going to be useless at computers. That's rubbish. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's a mindset. All right. Okay, so Samsung RV510. Don't get put off. Shanghai, his network was bad. Uh, I think I will manage to create an OER this evening with the help of the tutorials. Go, Samsung, RV, 510. Sounds good. Uh, Felistas. Felistas. Thank you. I enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, and, oh, Shanghai again. Shanghai. The tutorial was wonderful. We'll try and create my own OER. That's the whole point. That's what we're here for. So cool. Well done, people. That's it for today. Uh, you're free to go. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so Ciao. much, Andrew. Right. No, thank you. Uh, uh, Prince, uh, as soon as you get the the Zoom link, uh, the Zoom video, uh, pass it on so I can package it up quickly and uh, share it. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. I'm out of here.